right, so today we are mulching with gorilla hair tree. Yeah, but this kind of looks like Donkey Kong. It does look like Donkey Kong. But except he doesn't have the chest patch of Donkey Kong. That's right. It's my first time mulching with this, but I have read and researched that it's really good um, in protecting water from evaporating. It's also good to keep the roots warm during the winter and cool during the summer. So I'm excited to try it. I'm going to be putting it here in my elevated raised garden bed. So let's go ahead and get started. So here are my elevated raised bed. I have, I have my potting mix. I also have my little beet seedlings that have come up now. So I'm going to be really careful and try to mulch around them and not get the mulch on the plant at all. And then I would be planting some fall, some fall root crops right in here. So. Soil. So here I'm just coming along and fluffing up my potting mix. It's in my raised garden bed. I do have some beet seedlings here that have already come up. So I'm leaving those alone. I'm not going to fluff up that side, obviously, but I'm just making sure this side is nice and fluffy. I'm ready to go for my root veggies so they come out in nice shape. Okay, looks good. And then I've left um, on here. The soil has settled quite a bit, so there's actually a couple inches. Um, but I'm not going to put that much mulch. Um, this side is a lot less now that I have fluffed it up. Um, but once that potty mix settles, you realize you have quite a bit of room there, um, which some of it is good to have some room for the mulch, but that means less depth of growing uh, medium for my root veggies, but that's okay. Do what we work with what we've got. You definitely don't want to do too much mulch because if you do more than two to three inches that I have researched, then the water really can't get down inside unless you have drip irrigation, which I don't. So I'm going to go with about two inches. I'm not going to go with any more than that, but also the water won't get stuck inside the gorilla hair mulch and prevent it from getting down into my soil. So definitely be cautious with that. You don't want to put too much mulch because then you won't be able to get the water to the plants. So here's the gorilla hair mulch and it actually feels really nice. It's um, really fibrous and coarse. I actually put in a machine to create this shredded texture here and it's made from the bark of red or redwood trees. So I was careful to actually put it just around my ceilings and not right on top. And I'm going to try this out for you guys and see how it goes. So now to get my seedlings, my seeds in, or rutabaga purple top I'm going to do in this row. And then in this row I'm going to be doing the avalanche. And we got to get in some kohlrabi. And then on this half I'm going to um, start another half row here with some silky sweet hybrid turnips and plant a few colorful beets. So let me go ahead and get these planted. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've planted all my seeds. I have my rutabaga purple top, my avalanche beet, my silky sweet turnip, and then wherever the, the other beets didn't germinate, I added some colorful beets. So like right here, added some colorful beets. And over here, I added some colorful beets. And I just kind of staggered on my other root veggies here. So here you can see the little holes that I've made. And that's where I popped in all my new seeds. And this mulch, I actually got at Home Depot and it was under four bucks. So that part I really loved. It's really inexpensive. And I was reading to see if there's any dyes because I know in some of the mulches, like the red mulch and stuff, they do put dyes in some of those. And I definitely don't want that in my garden. So from what I saw, this mulch had no dyes. It was all natural. And here I am watering now my seedlings. And I was a little nervous at first because I thought, oh gosh, the mulch is going to like cave into my little seedling holes. <laughs> but it didn't. It stayed in place. And if you guys have any tips or tricks that you guys know, because this is new to me, I've never done this before with this gorilla hair mulch. So I hope I'm doing it correctly. But if you guys have any tips or tricks, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know. So on a side note, guys, I did not have room for the kohlrabi in here. I got way too excited, but I did move the kohlrabi over to my little peat pellets. And once the seedlings get big enough, I will transplant them to a spot where they have plenty of room. 
so here we are it's two days later and guys check this out the gorilla hair is back to its original state super dry however the potty mix underneath is so moist like I am crazy shocked at how well it is working so far like I said it's only been two days but I'm super impressed I mean look at that on my ceilings that dark brown that's how moist the potty mix still is I have seen a lot of people use a gorilla hair mulch like in their regular you know front lawn gardening for weed protection and stuff but I actually haven't been able to find too many people that use it in their vegetable garden I have found some but I will keep you guys posted here's a little sample of how moist the soil here is I pulled out some on the potty mix on the corner here and look I mean it it holds still really nice and, and fluffy and moist now since I was so happy with that I went ahead and found other spots in my garden to utilize the gorilla hair mulch here are my beets that I put the mulch on top of I also put the mulch here in my raised garden bed that I made I have my tomatoes here I call it my tomato teepee garden <laughs> And a couple other tomato pots and here are my peppers in these fabric pots and we know like how quickly the drainage is on these fabric pots it's 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 pretty quick so I wanted to make sure that we're helping it out by mulching here thank you guys so much for watching it was so much fun to learn a new way of mulching I mean that's what gardening is all about learning and growing well until next time thank you guys so much bye bye